there's nine really popular spots that everyone knows about. Only joking. What do you need to add to your spot the road trip? We have nine very cool spots. No more dear. Thanks, my darling. Hey guys, welcome back. We're Tristan Cares. <laughs> this is little Frank. Hello. <laughs> Murphy's up there and we live in our 35 year old camper van, Old Gertie. So we slow livingly road trip around the UK. Another week, another episode. Sunday sessions. Is that called, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> little Sunday coffee session. Come and join us. Let's chat. What? Do you need to add to your travel it itinerary oh. or your Scotland road trip? We have nine very cool spots. Some of them, are, well, I mean, they wouldn't be hidden gems if they weren't lesser known. <laughs> we shall kick it off with one of my favourites. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You don't really hear people talking about this spot ever. I can't remember how we found it, I think. I can't remember. I don't know if we were even just passing through. Knock and Crag. So Knock and Crag is on the NC500. It's just down from the Bone Caves, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so there's two things things you can do in this area actually yeah we've already made this not nine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <that's> a bonus <laughs> for you but why do we love knock and crag it's possibly one of the best views the most accessible way why should you go i'm going to give you a kez's layman version so you pull into a large flat car park bay parking all around the toilet block they've got wooden benches set up and you look out at the most stunning lock in front of the car park it's toilets 24 Four hours and heated do not empty your chemical waste down there they have a septic tank there are signs everywhere we still saw someone doing it so don't do it if you go god that was yeah that was stern, and if you're it? wondering what we're going on about check out this video where we talk about more about why park ups get closed for things like this yeah. there is also fresh water outside the toilet block so you can refill with your water best part about knock and crag is the walk it takes you on so you have two options one for the less able to takes you along the lower route but it's still lined with facts and incredible information about the different rock formations it will blow your mind but it's all explained on this walk as you climb up knock and crag it's engraved into stone as you walk yeah. around i love an educational walk once you reach the top it's just beautiful yeah, isn't it's it breathtaking it really is like 360 degrees of just wild rugged scotland yeah. it's and the walk i should say the walk itself isn't that long it is slightly steep in places but i'm scared of heights and i was all right i'm not scared of heights i think this is one of the scariest heights i've been on oh, really? yeah i mean the path's only that wide then it's quite a drop and you can just see the cars driving on the road down there and i was like with the wind you're like wee do be warned to get was, to the top then it was easy manageable view, for us it? with a dog. Yeah, you know. and with Frank, he's not the easiest to walk. No. Wants to see everything. Yeah. Doesn't understand that there's a side and an edge of a cliff. I would say it's only about a 20 minute walk. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Once you're at the top, you walk all the way along the top and then back down the other side, where if you're lucky, you will catch some of the local deer and stag. And if it's mating season, be warned, you will hear them all night long. Yeah. We oh. love that. But yeah. <laughs> and then once you leave Knock and Crag, a little bit of a bonus stop for you, the bone cave are pretty fantastic you are scared of heights that it is scary i was scared walking up there i'll be honest yeah, they've been found all sorts of different bones bears and like werewolves that's it bears um, well, not was... werewolves i don't think werewolves are real <laughs> yeah, not werewolves <laughs> wolves bears <laughs> bones of animals that are essentially extinct here now mm. it's a really cool walk isn't it you leave the car park you, we walk the edge of a river yeah. waterfall yeah you walk all the way out and then up the side of this hill and you mm. make it up to the bone caves which mm. is pretty cool saw deer running around there yeah so. it did yeah. So, yeah, so two spots in one there <laughs> but number two now this is a cute little find we jumped on park for night didn't we yeah. and found this amazing little community campsite yeah. car park is the only way i can describe it tucked down near some marshlands with this absolutely beautiful little walk you can take into these little bird hides yeah evening. that's cool isn't it yeah really cool looking out you can sit and bird watch see the sunset the little car park campsite itself is local community based incentives so it's donations yeah there's little bay parking there's picnic tables all around chemical waste points yes water water fresh water yes fresh water <laughs> yes it's a beautifully quiet lovely little spot isn't it yeah. in the sort of the middle of dumfries and galloway and it's just nice when you find something that is community incentive driven yeah for within the van life community it's yeah whenever we find anything like that we always feel like let's heat 
keep the support on. Another little surprise we found was there's a castle there as well. Goldsby, uh, we banged on about this place quite a few times. I think it is your favourite. Yeah. If you come in north or south of Scotland, good for the NC500. You come into Goldsby and turn down this road to Little Ferry. You drive down this long road, you go through some wooded, foresty areas, and then on your left, you've got the car park. The car park itself is hard standing. There's a lovely little sign there that says, stay for one night, use the bins provided, and enjoy yourself. But what can you do there? You've got the lovely wooded areas. As we said, you can go and walk off in there there for a couple of hours and you can go spotting deer and we've seen a few owls fly through there as well once you come out of the woods you've got then this lovely expanse of sand dunes and grass and there's this cool little swing that we found that you can go and play on and then once you come over sand dunes you come onto the beach which i think is probably like miles and miles long worth of beach but you can go seal spotting just round to the right you've got uh, like an estuary river mouth where you can see the seals bob up and down at high and low tides when they're coming in in and out catching all the little fish and one time the only time we've seen seals oh uh, yeah we saw a baby seal on the beach at little ferry which was pretty cool it was pretty cool yeah, pretty magical never seen a seal on the beach since so so the next one is a bit of a random hidden gem i think what we got we often come from the south all the way up to scotland this one is a really handy little stop just before you cross over into scotland there is a pub called the metal bridge don't know if you've heard of it but it is this fantastic little stop that is all laid on for camper vans isn't yeah, it it's they have, really good it's brilliant it's so good you've got a huge car park and then out the back of the car park they've actually set it all up with bay parking for camper vans there's all of the facilities you could need bar electric there the added bonus is the pub itself is really lovely yeah. really really friendly staff they make you feel so welcome and the prices if you are looking for some super cheap pub grub to fuel you up after a long drive in a warm pub with a big log fire then this is the perfect recharge spot for you isn't it it is next to a busy road which you will hear yeah it didn't keep us up or wake uh, us up in the morning or anything uh, but you can hear road noise but you know this isn't a nature spot it's a convenient van life spot yeah. so metal bridge go and check it out oh i know what's next on our list oh is Tioram Castle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty sweet, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a lovely find. <laughs> really lovely find. It's a it's a tidal ruin. Yes. Is that right? Tidal ruin castle. A tidal ruin castle. So you can only cross over to the castle when it is low tide. I'm not sure what it would be like at high tide. I don't know if you could wade across. I don't know. No, 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 no. Look, look. Say hello. Say hello, Frank. Say hello to everyone. Look. Say hello. Hello. You can't stay overnight there. You used no. to be able to. I think there's only two properties on that little peninsula should we say which i think are private airbnbs overnight parking is banned but you can go for the day and i would highly recommend yeah. staying for sunset because yeah. wow yeah i mean i'm talking purples and pinks lighting up yeah, the sky lovely. absolutely beautiful we're such a lucky find come out of fort william you head west onto the west side of scotland and we hadn't been out that way had we we've been as far as seeing that shipwreck just near fort william but it turned around and came back but this time we went all the way to Tiaram Castle and there was slight Glencoe vibes was driving there. It was just incredible. On the way to Tiaram Castle, you can stop off at Glenwig Hall. If I've said that wrong, sorry. You can pay to have a shower there at their little village hall. And then, yeah, around Tiaram Castle. Oh, it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. it? Gave us Canada vibes. We've never been to Canada, but that's what we felt like we saw. And then if you've got a kayak or paddleboard around there, I reckon, oh, mate. Yeah. It'd just yeah, be amazing, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, so Tiaram Castle, there are plenty of stunning castles in Scotland. Yes. But this one, yeah, just, just feels super just special. That, yeah, it does. It? That little bit different. Very, yeah, a lot less touristy than yes, I think absolutely. it's like uh, Eline or Elaine Doonan Castle, if I've said that right. Yeah, that's a cool castle. But this one just, yeah. Yeah. There's ham handfuls of people coming and going, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. And Although, actually, that does kind of segue me onto the... Okay, fine, he's a lapdog now. Onto our next little hidden gem, which is actually near another castle, Trist reference Eileen... 
Island Castle. Island Dunan Castle. Island Dunan Castle. No. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry to everyone. But round the corner from that castle is actually one of the best little bakeries. Mm, I think it's called the Wee Bakery. Wow. What a place to go yeah. and grab yourself a coffee, a croissant, as big as your head. Yeah. They've made it into this little model tiny home village. Oh, it's, it's like a little fairy village. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. I know you might be thinking, a bakery a hidden gem really but you have got the Eileen Dune Castle and there's a campsite opposite the Wee Bakery which we did stay at many moons ago looks over the lot you can go to the castle oh fun tip for you I think it still works now but if you go to the castle outside of its opening hours they leave the gates to the bridge open and you can just go and walk around the outside yeah. of the castle for free there you go three and one what? <laughs> smashing them out of the park uh, today what one we got next Frank it's not a hidden gem but it can't be a Scotland video if you don't talk about Glencoe. We have harped on about Glencoe enough so go and check out one of these videos if you want to find some hidden gems in Glencoe itself. All of them are shared We've here. We've got 10 things for you to do in Glencoe area. There you go. We're going to jump instead. We're going to jump straight to another hidden gem in Scotland Loch Skeen. This one feels like it's reserved for just the special people who know about it. It's in Moffat at, there's a spot called the Grey Mars Tail, which we have referenced previously, which is a beautiful waterfall car park area. Up the side of the waterfall, you reach the top of the waterfall, and then you follow the stream all the way to the top. It's a picture postcard moment when you come to the bend at the top yeah, of that, that stream. Yeah, that is that bit, isn't it? It is. And you just walk up and out to this breathtaking lot. Stunning, beautiful. Get yourself up there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lock to add to your list for sure. Our final spot is kind of 30 spots in one. I don't know how many of you are au fait. Au fait. Who do I think I am? Forestry Commission in Scotland. They rock and they have set up car parks and spots where you are allowed to stay for one night yeah. before moving on. If you go on the Forestry Commission of Scotland website, there is actually an interactive map that will show you all of the spots that you can go and visit you can find a multitude of stunning forestry based car parks that you are allowed to stay in and they have mapped them all out for you yeah what if we stayed near beaches yeah mountainous areas woods and forests yeah the forestry and land commission people were lovely yeah really that roll lovely. through the car parks well and it, it removes any stress from your road trip so if you are planning a wild camping road trip to have a few of these maps on your route is great because you know when you turn up you can be there check out their website go and visit some of the spots they are have you stayed in any Forestry Commission car parks? Which one are you going to check out first? What have we missed? What have we missed? Check out our playlist on Scotland for all the other trips and adventures that we've had because mm -hmm. you might find those useful as well. Well, and also that's a good point. We're uh, halfway, over halfway through this three-part little series of hidden gems. Um, after that, what can we bring to you? What do you want to know? We are, the whole purpose of this channel is to be able to share knowledge and give insight into ways that you can step into this life or enjoy just components of this life. It's incredible, the big wide world that's out there. It's so beautiful and there is so much to see and appreciate and soak up. And we want to be able to bring that to you guys what do you want to see from us let us know in the comments actually so i just thought i just thought i'd just say just you know a little update on where we are and where we're at we're still invested in our slow travel travel slow travel mentality and those of you who have been following along you know we spent six weeks in the new forest we did a two-week south trip with family and getting gertie's mot our slow travels have now taken us along the coast to call and Devon where we will be soaking up the blue skies and the seas and doing lots of surfing is our plan yeah. so yes that's where we are for now that's it really Again. next week we'll be doing our hidden gems in England and will this spot we're at now make it oh who knows <laughs> on Sundays we bring out our kind of van life vlog but now starting this week on Wednesdays Wednesday just gone we're starting to do reviews on bits and pieces
pieces we have in the van and what makes us be able to live on the road with ease. Don't worry if you see those and you're like, I don't want to watch a review. I want to watch you guys chat. Then just watch Sundays. Also, don't forget, we are active over on our other social channels. So do come over and say hey on Instagram or TikTok. Oh, I just want to cuddle. Aww. Aww. But yes, it has been awesome chatting with you all this week. And we look forward to catching up, as always, with all of you in the comments. Thank you to everyone who does leave us a comment. Honestly, you should see the little smiles on our yeah. faces when they come through. It's, yeah, it helps turn this into the relationship we want to build rather than us just talking at you. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you for those comments and thank you for your likes. Yeah. Someone bought us a coffee this week. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. You legend. Which was really, really lovely. So thank you so much because buy me a coffee. It helps us keep bringing content like this to you guys. Thank you. It's very appreciated. We are grateful for each and every one of you for every little action or just watching the video. But if you haven't liked it, please go and like it now. It does make a difference. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on Buy Me A Coffee. If you want some free photography of stunning locations that we've been to. That you can download onto your telephone. And have it in the palm of your hand wherever you go. Then head on over to the link below. Go through to the shop and down yourself, download yourself a completely free beautiful image that we took <laughs> to use as a screensaver you should add yes don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss another episode coming out until next time bye for now guys